back at the Rosen Theater of Portland Wrestling. Bill Prescott, we've got the draft in the ring right now. I'm so thrilled to see you. Yes, and I know you are. Let's show everybody what happened the last time the grappler was at the Rosen Theater for Portland Wrestling, just uh, a week or so ago, when, well, I'll tell you what, it, was, it wasn't breakfast time, but we sure had breakfast all over the place. Yeah, watch this thing. Yeah, watch it. And thrown him outside. What in the world is going on here? Who is that guy? I don't know. He's huge. <coughs> He's scary. My word. He, He's this guy is player. built. Look at this. Now he's choking Brian Cox. The referee's getting out of there. What is happening here? What, what in the world is happening? Oh, my God. John Cox. Oh, no. Cheerios and milk. you got to be kidding me. The, the breakfast club. Oh, have you had your I breakfast just, today? Bill, I just found out that that uh, the other man in there with the grappler is Blake Cruel. Look, look at this. Look at this. We got cereal. We got milk. on look at Blake. It's the old breakfast club. <coughs> oh, I remember this back of the fourth Adams in the grappler. Oh, man, it was Cheerios for days. It must have, it, I think it took him about 45 minutes to an hour to clean that thing up. They could be sending that food off to starving kids somewhere. Yeah. Or to me. I like Cheerios. Yeah. It gives, uh, you've seen those uh, commercials, Got Milk? Well, we had it all over the place here. The Grappler and, and his new partner, Cruel. Yes, late Cruel. Now, what, but what that means is that July the 7th, what you just saw happen on that tape, the grappler is going to take on Brian Cox, his former tag team champion partner. And uh, <laughs> we do have an extravaganza shaping up. We got, because we got that, we got Joey Jackson and, and uh, Billy, Billy Two Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. And now we got Bart Sawyer and Buddy Wayne. Oh, my word. Meanwhile, grappler in the ring with young Kenny Lush, probably about a third of the grappler's age. But, uh, and a third of his girth, too. It, uh, I think uh, I think Kenny is, is in. I think he'd much rather be having breakfast right now himself. Grappler really, really working over Kenny Lush. That was a nice suplex by the grappler. Going for the pin. One, two. It just creeps me out seeing him in that mask again. Well, you remember when I had the I got the five hundred dollars to get his mask off to get a picture of him with his mask off? That's right. Uh. Yeah. Back to the old Portland restaurant. He must not have aged well. Well, he's, he's got the mask back on. There's only, uh, there aren't too many reasons that a man wears a mask. We know the reasons that the grappler wears it, because it oftentimes turns into a weapon. Yeah. I mean, bad. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, bad grappler. Uh, deep down in your heart of hearts, Bill Prescott, I think, you got a soft spot there for the old grapple. Well, historically we got off on the wrong foot, but then there was sort of that middle period where we had kind of, sort of, maybe, somewhat, had made a truce. I remember Grapple and I even being in a, in a, a putting contest together for charity, but uh, he's hardened a bit. Well, something has certainly happened to him uh, over the uh, past year, or, or maybe, maybe months or weeks, because it's been a long time since I've seen him with the uh, mask, and it's been a long time since I've seen him well, take the attitude that he's taking right now. It wasn't that long ago that he and Bru uh, Bruce or Brian Cox were tag team partners. That's right. And uh, now with uh, Cox and uh, the prodigy Mark Large, the uh, tag team champion, Scrappy's feeling a bit, a bit left out. Yeah. 
Oh, the grappler just, uh, he's working over this Kenny Lux. I don't know how long Kenny has been in the, in the pro wrestling wars, but uh, he's, not, he's not ready for the grappler. End of the turnbuckle to Kenny Lux. Well, he, gets, he gets a good boot in the grappler's face on that one. Upside the head. The grappler's stunned a little bit now by Kenny Lux. Here comes a whip to the rope. Goes grappler coming off the rope. And it was kind of a, uh, kind of a clothesline or forearm smash. There's a forearm smash across the back of the grappler. There goes a whip. Across the ring goes the grappler. And now, what's Kenny Lux got in mind? For the bulldog? No. That didn't go quite The grappler had something else, I think, in mind. <coughs> forearm smash by Kenny Lux. Whips across the ring into the turnbuckle, and the grappler just sits down. He just sits down Ow. on the floor, and, and Kenny Lush just, is something wrong with the grappler? He Kenny just, looks so young, he looks like he might be a recent graduate of the school of hard knocks. Well, he's the one that's kind of been taking most of the hard knocks, except for right now, he's getting a few pretty good ones in on, on, uh, on the grappler. All right, here we go, loaded boot time. <laughs> loaded boot. How many times have we seen that in years past? It's over. It's over. One, two, three. <laughs> and I thought that was just a uh, orthopedic tool. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Orthopedic. I take to see the doctor that made that one. But the grappler, the loaded boot, you saw him do that so many years back at the old Portland Sports Arena. You just now saw him do it at the Roseland Theater. And down goes Kenny Lux. That one goes to the grapple. We'll be back. <laughs>